What's going on guys? It's your boy Gold Sniper 9 back with a brand new GTA 5 video for all of you lovely people out there. In today's GTA 5 video, I'm going to be showing you guys a money glitch that is semi-solo. You are going to need a friend for this, but your friend is only going to have to sit in your car. Your friend's not going to have to do anything crazy, nothing complicated. It's very simple. But with that out of the way, if that does sound like something you guys are interested in, I recommend you guys do stay tuned until the end of the video so you guys can learn how to do this rapid glitch. Really quick before we do get into it, I want to let you guys know that custom plates are not required. Now with that out of the way, let's dive straight into today's video. So first things first, what you are going to want to do is make your way over to the casino with your friend. Have your friend sit inside of your vehicle, then drive this vehicle into the parking garage of the casino. You don't want to drive it into the penthouse, you only want to drive it into the parking garage. Once you have drove this vehicle inside of the parking garage, what you want to do is tell your friend to sit inside of this vehicle. That is all your friend is going to have to do. Your friend is just going to want to sit here until you do tell him to get out, which will come later on in the glitch. Once your friend has decided to sit inside of your car, simply make your way to the exit and exit the garage. Once you guys have exited the garage, what you want to do is make your way over to the nightclub. Now don't call any vehicles at this point, just steal one from the parking lot, then make your way over to your terabyte garage. Once you guys do get down here into your terabyte garage, what you want to do is simply hop inside of your terabyte. Now right as you get inside of your terabyte, what you want to do is press right on the d-pad and then press start which will bring up your online menu. Then from there jump out of the terabyte and then this is where we are going to be using the job teleport glitch or we are just going to pretty much start up a job just to get out of here. Now I don't have any other friends that are on different targeting modes but if you guys are in the same situation I'm in what you can do is head over to this job right here simply start it up from the controller if you are on Xbox you can just press X or if you're on PlayStation press whatever button that does correspond to it. Once you do load up this team deathmatch here, simply just back right out of it and then from there you will notice that you are spawned outside of your nightclub. Now at this point what we are going to do is steal any vehicle that is in a parking lot nearby and we are going to make our way over down to our arena. Now inside of this arena what I do recommend you guys do have is a elegy and you guys do have a car that you guys are going to duplicate. I am going to be duplicating the Future Shock Izzy because I did get it to sell for $1.8 million. Now if you guys do want the same thing, I definitely recommend you guys use the Future Shock Izzy and simply just fully upgrade it. Once you guys fully do upgrade it, you guys should be able to sell it for damn near around $1.8 million. Now that we're over here at the arena, register as a MC president. Call any of your bikes that are at your clubhouse. Now at this point, none of the bikes are going to spawn. Once you do wait 5 or 10 seconds, walk inside of the arena and head over to your workshop level. Once you get inside of your workshop level, head over to the vehicle that you do want to duplicate. In my case, like I said before, I am going to be duplicating the Future Shock Izzy. Once you do sit in the vehicle you do want to duplicate, simply press right on the D-pad, bring it into the workshop so you can modify it. Once you are able to modify the vehicle, just change one thing on it. It does not matter which thing you do change. I personally went with the windows because it was one of the cheaper options. Once you have changed one thing on the vehicle, simply exit the arena. Now that we've exited the arena, we will want to just call our mechanic. Once you call your mechanic, simply request any vehicle that is inside the arena. Now what I did was I simply called for my elegy. Now the same thing with the bike, the car is not going to spawn. So at this point, you just want to tell your friend to hop out of the car he's currently sitting in and then you are going to want to call your mobile operation center. Make sure you guys do have a the personal storage bay in the back of the mobile operation center. I can't tell you how many times people have commented saying that's not working for them because they don't have this personal storage spot in the back of their MOC. Once your MOC has finally spawned, simply drive up to the back of it and store this vehicle in the back. Now you guys might get an alert. If you guys get an alert, simply accept it and you guys should be good. And just like that, you guys have successfully duplicated any car in GTA 5 online. Now, like I said before, I recommend you guys do use the Future Shock Izzy because it will sell for damn near $1.8 million. But if you guys have other vehicles that you guys want to duplicate, I suggest you guys use this method as well. If you guys did enjoy today's video and you guys do plan on using this method, all I ask is that you guys do subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and you guys want to see more. And smack that YouTube like button so this video does get out to other people playing GTA 5. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out, guys. Peace.